So we're gonna do a quick little class on pan roasting fish. A simple, you know, straightforward fish dish. Once you learn this, it's just gonna really unlock your, your cooking potential. So we have our filet. Now, uh, I'll just cut this in half so it's the right size. So let's let's do that. Okay. So there's our there's our filet. Piper loves sashimi, right, Piper? There you go. Good girl. We need a little bit of oil. Um, this is olive oil. It really doesn't matter. You know, people say don't use olive oil to saute because it has a lower smoke point and I'm not gonna use high heat on this, so I'm not really worried about that, okay? If you don't want your fish to stick, again, you can use the non-stick, that'd be fine, but if you're using a, a blue steel or if you're using a, um, a stainless steel, real important that the fish is dry, okay? And then, make sure it's seasoned. Again, most home cooks don't season their food well enough, Nicely seasoned, okay. So we're gonna, now you see, it's cooking gently, and that heat's gonna make this curl up, the fish is nice and fresh, and it'll eventually release itself. But at this point, leave it alone. This is a mistake that most home cooks make. They actually start messing around, they start shaking the pan back and forth, because they saw that on TV and it looks really cool. Don't do that. Now, I wanna season this side of the fish as well. And, we're gonna put a little, this is just some white pepper that we'll put on here. Okay, now. What I'm seeing right now, I'm starting to see a little bit of smoke. When that happens, turn it down, okay? Now that the heat is in the pan, it's just about maintaining. So what happens when you first put the fish in the pan, it'll lower the temperature of the pan because the heat is getting absorbed into the fish, okay? But then after a while, you're gonna see that the pan starts to cook faster and you can actually hear it. It'll start to cook faster. Um, you'll see a little bit of smoke forming. That's when it's time to lower this even more. Depending on how crispy you want the skin, that's how long we're gonna cook it on that side. Now the skin side's also gonna take a little bit longer to cook than the flesh side because there's, there's more fat under the skin and you have the skin that actually protects it. So nice and easy. Now, if you're cooking, you're starting to see the smoke a little bit. Now, if, if this is as low as it's gonna get, the thing to do then is just to move this off the flame. I'm gonna sit for a little bit, okay? And again, I'm listening the whole time. This is how you're controlling heat, okay? When it starts to go down a little bit too much, then it goes back on. Often what happens too is when fish sticks to a pan, it's usually because you try to turn it too soon, okay? If you are cooking and you realize that just sticking a little bit, leave it alone. Don't mess with it, okay? Just let it continue to cook. It will release itself. If you try to move it too soon, that's when you start to stick. And you'll see it just kind of release nicely. But again, you're gonna leave it alone. It's gonna take a while. It's not something that's gonna cook really fast because we're not cooking on really, really high heat. And so it's nice and gentle. Again, the whole time, completely in control. Got some scales on here, we can get rid of. Now, once we have it on this side, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a little bit of butter to the pan. And we're gonna add some, some herbs. This is, again, what most home cooks don't do. This is something you'll see in the better professional kitchens. This is what you're gonna see, is you use butter at the end to base, the, to base this fish. And again, you see that, you see how gently this is cooking. It's taking even a while for this butter to melt. The pan is not hot. But the good thing is when you have a high quality pan, it holds that heat, it transfers that heat. You also notice there are no hot spots. It's cooking evenly throughout the whole pan, okay? So now, we're just gonna baste this. And we're gonna continue to let that cook. Let's flip and cook a little more. I'm just feeling it to see if it's done. It's almost there. That just comes with practice. You'll, you'll get to learn that, um, you know, uh, by feel whether or not something's done. Um, again, when you're, also when you're cooking this slow, um, you have total control so you don't have to worry about it burning. You can actually, if you were making a, a side or something, you could turn away from this. So you can do a few other things and come back to it. You don't have to worry about this thing just starting, you know, catching fire. Um, but 
This is, I think, one of the hardest things to teach. Um, when I teach young cooks in my kitchen, this is one of the harder things to teach them to do because they don't, they don't trust it. They're taught, even in school, that you have to use high heat for everything. And so you have our fish, and so we're gonna lift the fish up, put it on a plate, and then a little bit of lemon juice right in with this butter, and you'll get all those solids. And that's it.